guys, Amanda here, and in this video, I am going to be recapping Bachelor in Paradise Season 6, Week 4, Episode 8. I can't believe we're at the end of Week 4 already. It's so crazy. So much has happened, but I feel like there's so much more that needs to happen before the end of the show. We go back to where we left off in the last one. Everyone is happy after the rose ceremony, and Dean pulls Caitlin aside to talk and everyone's like oh my gosh she has a surprise for her well I guess he does because he breaks up with her on her birthday like come on dude he just says I'm really enjoying my time with you but I don't think I can get to where you need me to be by the end of this and we're not gonna work out in the real world and yeah and she's just really upset about it she really likes him she she's break he's breaking up with her on her on her birthday so he leaves and he's like bye and everyone's like bye Dean and then Kaylin comes and she's really upset and she's crying and all the girls go over to comfort her and I think that's sweet. So it's the next morning and Kaylin is still upset you know about Dean and she, she really wants to see him and wants him back there but it's not up to her to fix him. Nope. Mike, Sydney, Demi, and JPJ are all sitting around and then they start talking about Taisha and Derek and JPJ just can't listen to it listen to that so he gets up and he leaves and he starts crying and Blake goes over to comfort him Blake wants to know hey what's going on what's wrong and he's like I really really like Taisha but she's spending time with Derek I shouldn't have gone on those two dates I feel bad for Haley I gave her my rose and he's really upset he's crying like damn JPJ then Taisha goes into the room and she sees a gift. So she calls everybody into the room. She opens the gift and it's an invitation to Crystal and Chris the Goose is wedding. They're really excited because it gives them hope that they can find love here in paradise like they did. Mike gets all the feels. Mike, I love Mike. Mike for bachelor, Mike for bachelor. Mike for Bachelor. Clay gets nervous about seeing Angela again. He doesn't want that to affect his relationship with Nicole. It's time for the wedding and I am so excited. Crystal is getting ready in her room and Chris the Goose is getting ready in his room. Outside of the venue, a lot of people start showing up. First we see a lot of people from Bachelor Nation. There's Joe and Kendall, Astrid, and Kevin, <laughs> Ashley, I, and Jared, there's Tia, Becca, then all the current Paradise people arrive. Kaylin tells Tia about her situation with Dean. She says she's, you know, really happy for Crystal and Chris, but she's just, she doesn't want to be at a wedding right now. Then, enter three guys, Chase, Connor, and some dude with a man bun. And Tia's kind of excited with the man bun. She's like, oh my God, a man bun, oh my goodness. Kaylin is really excited to see Connor. She was, she's was she been waiting for Connor to come to paradise and here he is. JPJ tells Demi that he's been really hitting it off with Taisha. Then everyone enters the wedding venue and it's so, so, so beautiful. Taisha is worried that she's underdressed and Derek says, no, you look really great. Then everybody starts to sit down. JPJ just says, hey, you know, I need to sit next to Taisha. So he sits next to Taisha. He wants to talk to her about the situation with Derek. He's like, I need you to watch out for that guy, blah, blah, blah. Taisha's like, thank you for telling me about this, but you know, we're here for a wedding. Let's not talk about this now. And then we go over to Hannah and Dylan. And if Hannah starts crying, then Dylan will start crying. They're so cute. And then the wedding starts. Chris Harrison walks in. And Angela walks in strutting her stuff, especially when she passes by Clay. Like, damn, she's like, I'm Angela. And then Goose walks down the aisle. He has two women on either side of him. They might be his sisters. They look alike, so. And it's time for Crystal to walk down the aisle. She looks so beautiful. And Chris, he has tears in his eyes. Chris the Goose Chris. There's too many Chris's on this show. There's a smudge pot thing, I think that's what it's called. And there's like, he lights some sage or something to cleanse them and purify them. 
strange, but I kind of liked it. I don't know. And they talk about Wayne and Chucky a lot, who are Crystal's dogs. I just wish they would have been there. That would have been so cute to have them walk down the aisle, but I get it. But they live in San Diego or LA, and it's not that far from Mexico. The dogs could have made it. So they say their vows, then they kiss, then Chris Harrison tells Chris Goose that he can kiss the bride, so then they kiss again, and then Chris Harrison introduces them as Mr. and Mrs. Chris and Crystal Randone. <sighs> that was really hard to say with Chris and Chris and Crystal. Oh my goodness. Whew. So it's after the wedding. Everyone is gathered outside of the wedding venue. Tasha tells Annalise that she's been talking to JPJ a lot and they have a connection, but then she also has a connection with Derek and she sees Derek as this older, older, more experienced guy that has his stuff together. Then Katie brings JPJ over to meet Crystal and Chris's parents. And JPJ introduces himself as John Jones. Where did the Paul go? JPJ tells Katie he wants Tasha to find happiness, even if it's not, even if it's not with himself, which is why he's so concerned over Derek, because I guess they, I guess they had this conversation. Derek was talking about his podcast and he said that he hooks up with all these girls because of this podcast and JPJ, you should go on my show and it'll get you out there and you can hook up with a lot of girls. I don't know. I wasn't there for this conversation. I don't know what really happened. JPJ tries to get Demi to agree with him about Derek, but Demi's not going to. Derek's been so great to her. She's not going to badmouth Derek. JPJ, what are you thinking? And then he goes and he grabs Derek and he's like, I want to talk to you. But instead of talking to Derek, he's just talking over him. Derek's trying to tell him his side. He keeps interrupting him. He keeps, he is accusing Derek of all these things about, you know, trying to hook up with this woman from his podcast. And he's like, tell me, tell me what I said that was a lie. Tell me it's a lie. And Derek's trying to explain himself. He keeps interrupting him. I don't know. It's just a lot. And Tasha's really upset and she starts crying and it's not good. Everyone can hear them arguing. Then Chris and Crystal announce for everyone currently in paradise to go over to them. So everyone's there for the conversation, not just the paradise people, but the paradise people are in front. Crystal gives a cute little speech of, uh, of inspiration, finding love, and love is found here in paradise and all that jazz. Then they say, there's one table at the reception and I wanna invite some of you there. So they invite Hannah, Dylan, Kaylin, Blake, Tasha, Mike, Christina, and Goose's boy, Clay. And I think it's kind of lame that not everybody is invited. At first I was kind of confused why Tasha and Kaylin were invited, but then I thought, oh, maybe they were all at Stagecoach and they met at Stagecoach. And maybe they, re they really like Mike and maybe they were talking to him earlier. And then Hannah and Dylan, they, maybe they were talking to them earlier and they had Nice conversation. I thought they were a cute couple. Sydney is really upset that she wasn't invited. She really wanted to spend more time with Mike and further their relationship. Derek wanted to party with Taisha, and Nicole wanted to be there with Clay. She's scared about him being there with Angela without her. Everyone not invited goes back to paradise and they tell Wells all about the wedding. And I feel like it's kind of weird that Wells wasn't invited to the wedding. Angela gives a speech at the wedding. And as she's giving a speech, there's interludes with Nicole talking about how she's worried about Clay. And Demi says she wouldn't want to upset Mrs. Queen of Paradise, Miami Heat. So there's more than one queen of paradise, which you know is okay because Demi's also one of the queens of paradise. Blake is just moping around, so sad. He's all alone, he's stag at the reception. Blah, 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 blah. Astrid tells Blake to go home and Ashley I tells him to go to Europe. Connor and Christina are talking and they're kind of flirting. And then we go to Annalise and Kaylin, and Annalise is hyping Kaylin up. She's like, yes, go talk to Connor. And Kaylin's really excited to see Connor, but she's also kind of messed up in the head because of the whole Dean situation. But she goes and she talks to Connor anyway. 
and they're outside and they're talking and they're flirting and they end up kissing and they're I think they're really cute together then we go to clay and he's really nervous about seeing Angela and he accidentally calls her his girlfriend or maybe he's talking about Nicole but then they th but then the other guys he's talking to thinks he's talking about Angela I don't really know he finds Angela he pulls her aside Tasha the spy sees this she is Nicole's best friend she is on the case Clay tells Angela, hey, I still really care about you. You're really sweet, and I want you to be happy. Angela doesn't understand how Clay can be on Paradise. He told her he couldn't imagine himself being with somebody else. He's really sorry about how things ended between them. Then we go back to Paradise. Derek tells Wells that he didn't know that JPJ was into Tasha until that day. And I'm just thinking, Derek, how could you not know were you so just blinded by Demi this whole time that you didn't know that John Paul Jones was in Tasha? Everybody else knew. Because later on the episode, he asks, Hey, did you guys know that JPJ was in Tasha? And everyone else that's with the, at the bar with him is like, Yeah, yeah, I knew, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, I knew. And Derek wants to pull JPJ aside and talk to him alone without everybody else listening. And JPJ is like, nope, nope, I don't want to talk to you. He tells Derek he doesn't want to be on his podcast and to leave him alone for the rest of the time that he's there. It's the next morning and Cindy is still really upset that she couldn't go to the wedding reception because she really just wanted to dance. Kaylin thinks that she knows she's just meant to be unhappy here on Paradise and maybe in life too. Then Connor comes in and he has a date card and Kaylin's so happy to see him and he pulls Kaylin aside. They are really happy that they got to talk last night and Connor went to bed with a smile on his face. He talks to Christina. She tells him that she hasn't had anyone here in Paradise but she's excited he's there and she really likes his height. Connor ends up asking Kaylin on a date. And everyone is really happy for her after the whole Dean situation. And it's kind of like a late birthday present for Kaylin. Christina is a little upset. She's like, you know, Kaylin is just always after my leftovers. They're not all your leftovers. I don't like that word anyway, but they're not all your leftovers. Connor's not your leftover. You never really gone out with Connor unless there's history there that we don't know about. It could be. I don't really know. I can understand where she's coming from because it's kind of weird that Christina and Kaylin are always into the same guys, like Dean and then Blake and now Connor. So maybe somebody else will come along that they're both like in the future. Who knows? On Kaylin and Connor's date, they paint with their bodies onto a canvas. And while they're doing that, they're making out. Clay tells Mike about his conversation with Angela. He tells him about, you know, when he broke up with her and he realized that Angela wasn't the right one for him and that he blindsided her with their breakup. Then we cut to Nicole and she's talking to Taisha and Taisha was really surprised that Clay didn't introduce Nicole to everyone as his, as his girlfriend, you know, he should have been really excited to have someone and to have a lot of his friends there and to introduce her to them. And Nicole agrees. She wishes that he would have introduced her to his best friends like, hey, this is Nicole. She's my girlfriend. We've been hanging out a lot on Paradise because maybe if he had done that, Nicole would have been invited to the reception. Probably not though. Taisha the spy tells her, you need to talk to Clay to clear up this whole Angela situation. Then we go to Demi and Christina. Demi just pumps up Christina, pumps up her confidence. She's like, hey, you are too good for any of the guys here. Then we go back to Kaylin and Connor. Oh, they've cleaned themselves up after their messy painting time. Kaylin is just really excited that somebody here is on the same page as her and he doesn't live in a van. Then we go back to Paradise and Clay and Nicole go to talk. He tells her that, hey, you know, last night Angela and I spoke. You know, after 
I broke up with Angela. She had been reaching out to me, asking if we can get back together. He did tell Angela that he's seeing somebody, but he still cares about Angela. He'd been saying that a lot, like, oh, I so really care about her. I so, I so really care about her. But it might be because they're just, they're just amping it up. Taisha is really worried about Nicole. And she says, if Angela walks in that door, she is pretty sure that Clay and Nicole will not work out. Then Angela enters and the episode is over. So next week, there's so much happening next week. Will Angela be the end for Clay and Nicole? Clay doesn't know what the right thing to do is. He might decide to go home. Derek and JPJ continue their argument. Taisha is caught in a love triangle. Dean returns without his mustache and he realized that he made a mistake. There's a shocking exit and lots of people cry. Kaylin cries, JPJ cries, Demi cries, Taisha cries, and JPJ cries again. Whew, all the tears, all the tears. Then at the very end, one of the funniest endings I'd ever seen, Demi does an impression of Connor. So funny, so accurate. Hey, it's me, Connor, and like, I can't do it, but Demi needs her own show. I would watch it. Just call it The Demi Show. And Jordan can be her co-host, and JPJ can make appearances, and she can do her impressions of Connor. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month, a wonderful year, and a wonderful life. Bye!